Hello, we are Sorted Food. Welcome to Fridge Cam. If you're new here, why not subscribe? Now, you're going to want to stick around because this happens. And we should probably explain. Today, we go on a mystery night out, led by Barry. Tonight, it's my turn to organise a mystery night out. That's right, I'm organising something. LOL! I've set the budget at 60 great British pounds each. Everyone's given me their money, and it's now me to organise everything. Food, taxiing, drinks, partying, you name it, I've got to organise it. We're gonna be judging Barry's night out, the experience, how well organised it all is, and we're gonna be rating him out of 10 at the end of the night. 60 quid's quite a big night out. I mean, that's no kind of come round for drinks and nibbles. That's no. something special, and that's no. what we're judging you on. And then once it's all done and wrapped, we'll fill in any gaps and missing links so that you guys can recreate it next time when you're in London. And if you look left and right, we've just crossed the river. OK, I've already given you your first clue by making you dress warm. Sweat. Really sweat. It's actually not that cold tonight, which is so right. No, cheers, mate. Um, but I have... This is yours, Ben. Oh, extra present. Nicely. It is really nice. dark in here. We're here. We're here. Great. I've read that goggles tonight. Like, sorry, mate. <laughs> because you're mainly behind the camera. You're just wearing those. I'm sorry. What are they? I'll remember that when I rate you later. Right this way. So I couldn't quite get us to the slopes for 60 quid, but I could bring the slopes to us. This is at Bray London in Flatiron Square, and well, take a look for yourselves. Oh, there's a mother clucker. Pretty cool, mate. Pretty cool. There's, there's an actual ski chalet here. We're gonna eat a lot of food for sixty pounds each. Yeah. Please get in. So you're gonna spend all of our money on food and drink. No, we I'm are gonna be well fed. There is gonna be an additional activity, I can tell. There isn't quite the snow. It's a bit too warm for that. But inside, they've got everything that a ski resort would have: sledges, skis, and telly cabins, and a fully working bowl. A cabin to watch telly. No. What did you what? say? A cabin. Telly cabin. Telly cabin. What's one of those? No, it's a, like, a, like, a, like a big bubble that they have to... A gondola. Oh, a gondola. Okay, a gondola. sorry. Gondola. I reserved a little area inside, so go get a comfy and I'll get a drink in. Nice. Well, I always knew Barry wants me to go skiing with him. Uh, can we have full pints? Well, I was going to get hard. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We've had four empty steins on the table, and we had our bets on Jamie getting a hot toddy, you getting a maybe a, a stein, Barry would go for hot chocolate, and I'd get something pathetic like an espresso martini. Barry just handed this to me. I got everything. Mike, I've got you a lovely espresso martini. Then you have an option. Would you like a hot toddy or a multi? I'd like a cider, please. Chocolate or I was hoping I wouldn't get this one. What are you getting? What's that? Mine's a hot chocolate with a shot of tequila in it. <laughs> Cheers! I don't know whether to drink the cold beer before it gets warm <laughs> or the hot toddy before it gets cold. OK, now everyone's licking up, I'm going to go and get some food and leave everyone here to have a play in the gift booth, a.k.a. the telly cabin. I wouldn't have put my leg, leg in thermals on. So just outside the chalet is a little food hall which has all the options for food. Trick is, the guys are quite picky on what they like. Jamie, big, bold, flavours and portions. Ben, the food needs to be slightly more exotic, slightly more sophisticated, but with a touch of knobby knowledge and, well, Mike just likes anything chicken, so let's have a look. Jamie, may I present to you all of the food? And all of the beers. Ah. Where? <laughs> right, let me talk you through the food, and you can enjoy the food, and I'll get you beers. Deal? Okay, perfect, deal. First up, chicken satay for Michael. Goat cheese pizza. Thank you. No, that's for me. Pumpkin ravioli, mainly for Ebbers. Also, we have some I'm going to pronounce this wrong. Nutty Garang, 
Nasty Greg. Nasty Greg, also for Evers. Jamie. Sweet Potato, Patata Spravas. Oh. And the Spanglish Burger. It fits the ski theme so well. And this is a tonkotsu miso ramen with Ebbers again. I had enough of that wow. last season. Wow, wow. there's that. so much. I don't know how I'm going to eat it all. <laughs> You're on a diet. Here's your dish, Jamie. And there's your dish, Jamie. And there's your dish, Jamie. Now, Ebbers, this is your dish. Now, this is your dish. This is your dish. Mike, here's some chicken on a stick. Mike, I've got them all together so we can share. Yeah. Did you just use the S word? Yeah, we're going to share it. Oh, minus three. No! Baz, you go get the beers. We'll have some pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so, the thing with it being so cold outside is the wonderful buttery sauce solidifies. So it's almost <laughs> fondue-y. It's delicious. Mm. That is a tasty burger. Barry, since you're filming, I'll tell you how good your pizza tastes. Oh. That is your type of pizza. You're going to love this. Thank you. Stop eating it. Spicy, salty, seafoody rice. You do know my time. You didn't say that once, did you? I've never said that. <laughs> that was never not my word. Oh, Moorish. I feel like I've popped, and I don't know whether I'm going to be able to stop. Where do you go skiing? Um, France. France. Yeah. Right, man. As I say in France, Rue la bière, por favor. It's... What's going on? I am. Um, I just checked the email for Pace Got to be out next, and we haven't be there for another 20 minutes. So. So that beer that we asked for when dinner arrived, and you said we don't have time. I was panicking. Turns out, plenty of time. Well, you know what panic means. <laughs> panic is in binary is no point. <laughs> Some people will go to extreme lengths just to show off a new yellow ski jacket they bought. I know. Happy now? I don't want to put this in my top three worst nights ever, <laughs> but... <laughs> Cheers. So we turned up at Apro Ski. We, uh, we got some drinks. Then we got some food. Then we were told we had to go. But then we got a beer. And now we have to go, so we're getting in a car, but we don't know where we're going. Or how much money's left. But I'm still wearing ski gear. Where's Barry? Oh, there he is. Oh, man. I can see some reflections up there. We're going ice skating at Tower Bridge. That is actually pretty decent. You're not a size eight, you liar. You I've got liar. Big socks on. <laughs> so we're judging on how much we enjoy this, right? I'm gonna push Evans over. James? I am really good not on the ice, but in ice. <laughs> you're, you're definitely not on ice. I can't. Good luck, game. Going in. Here we go. He's gonna be so great. He's got it. 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 Good luck, Mike. He's off. He's off. <laughs> Ben, no matter how much you play with the boots, you're not going to become a better skater. I Feel free to call me Torval or Dean. Hey, at least we made it onto the roof. And that is the end of a pretty damn good mystery night. The guys have now gone their separate ways and it's time for me to await my destiny. What am I gonna rate for the first mystery night? I'm gonna give that a 6.3 for two reasons. Firstly, um, I think 60 pounds is actually quite a lot of money to uh, just get three chicken satay skewers for. Um, the other thing is that I'm giving it a 6.3 because I want to set the bar high 
because I know when it comes to Jamie's go, he's literally gonna type in London into Google, click the first result, spend 10 seconds reading it, and we're gonna end up in the nearest Pret to Buckingham Palace, and I'm not up for that. Right, first one through from Mike, 6.3. I don't know what I think about that. I think that's just above average. Do you know what? I had a really good time tonight. Uh, it's obvious Barry put a lot of thought into where we were going and found two fun novelty venues and who doesn't love a bit of ice skating. Uh, two things though. Number one, uh, was the food worthy of a 60 pound budget? I don't know. Uh, and number two, who does ice skating after dinner and drinks? It's called Apre for a reason. Uh, therefore, I'm going to rate Barry. 6.4 from Jamie. At least they're getting better. The steins of beer, the boozy hot chocolate, the mulled cider, the hot toddies, made for a strong start. Got us in the mood. If anything, a slight shame it wasn't followed up by Roshti and tarty flet and fondue and raclette. Instead though, credit where credit's due, he got personal. The thing with Barry is look good and the rest will follow. Put on a big coat, a scarf, a hat, some ski goggles and hope the rest of the night take care of itself. It kind of did. Finally, a half decent response. 7.4 is a lot more reasonable. Thank you, Ben. I've now got a pick who I think was the standout performer from today to host the next Mystery oh. Night. I'm going to go with Jamie, purely because he was the least pain in the arse. So Jamie, congratulations, it's your turn. Smashed it! I won! I, I don't think that's entirely fair. Yeah, I won! Well, that means you get to plan the next one. So I'm going to organise the next night out. I might need a little bit of help. If you've got any suggestions for me, comment them down below and let us know. And also, what did you think of the video? Let us know that as well. If you enjoyed seeing something a little bit different, give the video a like. And one thing we do know you like is battles. We've got a great one coming up your way on Sunday. We're going to see food and eat it. Oh, there's a, there's a spoiler. <laughs>